This is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on ticker EZGO or EZGO Technologies. So I've got the daily time frame pulled up here and you can see they had a massive dump. They were hovering up around the $3 level. Um, and then they did an offering or they announced an offering and this thing started to make massive moves lower. So it dove from almost $3 um, down to about 20 cents or so. So it's sitting at 22 cents right now, down almost 28% on the day. You can see a news story here in Thinkorswim talking about a registered direct offering. So it's gonna be 8.4 million shares at a buck 13 a share. Um, so let's come in and kind of take a look at some of their finances here and see what's going on. If we come into Yahoo Finance and we look at the statistics tab here, uh, we can see that profit margin negative 53.95%. Operating margin the last 12 months, negative 39%. We've got return on assets the last 12 months, negative 7%. Return on equity, negative 23%. Um, you can see quarterly revenue growth year over year, negative 14%. We've got EBITDA at negative 5.46 million. Diluted EPS, they lost 73 cents a share the last 12 months. You can see total cash here, 3.01 million. Um, the current ratio is showing 2.68 and then book value per share is showing 99 cents. Um, let's go into the financial statements here and kind of take a look at what is going on. We take a look here at the income statement on the annual and we can see that their revenue um, the last couple years here is sitting pretty much the same as their cost of revenue. So got very tiny gross profit here. You can see 219,000. For 2022 in gross profit and then 382,000 for gross profit in 21. You can see back in 2019 and 2020 they had a much larger gross profit so their gross profit is just kind of shrinking year after year and if we look at earnings or net income common stockholders you can see they actually had positive earnings in 2019 then they had very slight positive earnings in 2020 and then that has taken a turn for the worst here uh, losing 2.9 million in 2021 and then losing 6.4 million in 2022. The last 12 months they have lost 8.9 million. So the earnings are pretty brutal there. If we come and look at the cash flow statement on the annual, you can see um, it's pretty bad since 2012. Well, I mean, even since 2019, they lost uh, 2.7 million in operating cash flow. And then they kind of turned to a positive here in 2020, and then they have just went in the wrong direction in the last two years. So for 2021, they got negative 6.2 million in operating cash flow, and then for 2022, negative 10.3 million. If we come down and look at the free cash flow, um, you can see here that it paints a very similar picture, except 2021 here, you can see free cash flow, this number was a lot bigger in the negative because they had a big CapEx number here. Um, but overall, you can see them going from 2020 with actually positive free cash flow of 1.6 million. And now the last 12 months, free cash flow is negative 14.7 million. Um, not good. Come in here and look at the balance sheet. They do have that positive common stock equity. So you can see that they consistently have more assets than liabilities here. Um, and they consistently do have positive stock equity. We come back to the cash flow here on the annual. We can see that most years they do have big numbers here in financing, um, which they just did another one right now with uh, that registered direct offering. So uh, just kind of looking through their financials here and kind of looking at what's going on on the chart. Um, this is not a stock that I will be buying. Um, I typically just don't buy uh, shares of companies where they have negative operating cash flow, they have negative free cash flow. Um, their earnings are in the negative, and especially if those numbers are growing, um, you know, year after year, those are not companies that I invest in, but um, I wanted to do some analysis here and kind of tell you what I think of a ticker EZGO. I'll continue to keep you updated here. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.